What's up, YouTube? This is Golden State Writer. Uh, today, I'm here back to go over my new Graves uh, exhaust. So basically, this is the standard edition. I'll be unboxing to see what's in it. It came from the Sport uh, Track Gear. <laughs> Sorry, I can't pronounce their name right. But uh, this is a standard edition of Graves exhaust, which is a long pipe. And there is two of them. So there is a shorty and there is a standard. So I already have an M4 shorty on my ZX-10R, but today I'm going to install the uh, standard edition of the Graves exhaust. So I'm basically moving from M4 to Graves and we'll see how that goes. So just follow me. If you like my channel, make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell icon. So every time I post a new video or content, you'll be notified. Then I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this box to see what's in it, what comes with it, and break it down for you, and as well as the installation on the bike. So let's get going. Okay, so basically because I live in an apartment complex, I really don't have any, like a work table to set it down and all of that. So I'm just gonna use my couch to unbox. So, so this is the box. It comes with little Cheetos right here. <laughs> They're like a literally Cheetos. So, man, this is looks good. So it comes with the bracket that goes over the exhaust, that goes the, this is what it holds on your mid pipe and your, um, how do you say it? Your pipe and your headers keep together and that's the spring. So it'll put the mid pipe and the exhaust can like attached to one another. So it's this and then that's the actual pipe right here that's the pipe right there and man that looks clean uh oh we got a cheetos in the pipe there we go and that's the actual cans there which is this guy right here man this looks so clean like i can't wait to install this that this is the actual canster so it does look that man that great it sounds whew, can't wait to put it on the bike so yeah uh this is the can so it's basically not that complicated it's gonna be a little few steps so on the bike i already have my servo and everything removed but now let's right now let's move on to the installation and see how things go without a further ado Let's get to business and see how that goes. So this is basically what's the M4 look like on my ZX-10R. So it's a shorty pipe and underneath, that's the header right there. And then it's basically the shorty, shorty canister. So with this new grave system, I'll be able to push it back all the way up until here. So I'm gonna have a better performance so basically I'm replacing the M4 to Graves standard long pipe, which will give you more performance. And the reason being, if you look at it from the back, so the exhaust is mainly leaning towards like this side, this side of the bike. So the power pushes towards the side, but once it's hitting this way straight, it pushes to her back. So you have more power to move forward. So let's go, I have already removed the servo cables and all that, obviously, but I don't have to do that, which is a plus. So just be with me. I'm gonna go ahead and start installing the new graves on it and see how it looks and how it sounds. And then I will put a video of the results of having the grave system and all of that. Just stay with me and let's go ahead and install. Okay, so this is the M4 canister. Man, the this shorty, probably it's as heavy as the entire Grave standard system. So like I can't tell by holding it how heavy is this thing. So let's go ahead. Man, it was a little of the work to take this off. So that's the header and the header pipe. So let's go ahead and put the M4, I mean the Graves, see how that goes. I will keep this um just for future i don't know you always try to keep yourself because you never know what future may hold but if you guys are interested on in buying this this is about uh i would say 
seven eight months old but i kept it in a real good condition as you can see so hit me off if you need this for your bike this also fits zx6r as well all right let's go ahead and get on a grape okay so let's go ahead and put the grave next put the grape out as well as the installing so i'm gonna go with the canster right here let's see Man, I love those Cheetos. So this is this compared to that right here. You tell me which one would you pick, Graves or M4? So this is slightly heavier. I would say twice as much lighter than the M4. So let's go. And then the next step would be the pipe right here. So this side with those little chins goes to the heather. Why am I keep saying heather? It's going to the heather. And this, the end of it goes inside of the canster. So, and what I've noticed, Graves doesn't have a baffle to be removed or to be put on. So it's just solid like that. Hey, who cares about that? So it goes in like this, pretty much like this. This whole thing, it's still lighter than the M4. Still lighter than M4. So I'm kind of amazed of how they did that. And then the next part is uh, we need to put this string in it. So basically what I would recommend to do, usually people go side on side like this. Um, like they're both, the hooks are facing the same way, but you either go one of them from the back and the other one on the top. So that way you have a better, um, how do you say it? You just have a better grip of holding it. And then, dude, like I don't have the spring pull whatever it's called so this is gonna be a challenge oh keep going man putting this spring right here was a challenge Whew. so basically guys this is what it is and we don't want to remove this part you just can keep it the way it is and then after that you just bring on the bracket that comes with it and the bracket goes over your canister and from there it's pretty self like it's super easy you can get through it by yourself so i'm gonna go get into it install the header and the canister and i will be showing you the video and then we can start it up let's go so guys one quick tip it's like remember i told you always keep your stock part because you never know what future may hold i kept my stock exhaust uh canister the bolts and nuts so now i'm gonna use it in my bracket right here in order to keep it up here like that so i kept always try to keep your stock some people will change the foot peg to get a sporty one well i didn't and i kept the uh, bolts and nuts over here so i can use it on this one which is a plus i would say unless you want to get a entire sporty uh foot peg which i don't know saves you another pound that's on Los here Valentino Rossi. So that was a quick tip for this video. All right, fella, this is what it is. Whew. Man, it took a little bit of the time. So that would be our grave exhaust with full titanium. It goes all the way here. That spring took me a little bit to put it in, but I was able to accomplish that. And basically, there we go, guys. And this is it. And make sure you always grab a, you wipe down after you install any kind of exhaust or full system or whatever, always wipe it down because your fingerprint, once it gets hot, it'll stay in there and you will see that rest of your life. So make sure you clean that up before you run the bike. So let's clean her up and run it to see how it sounds like. Okay, she's all ready and good to go. So now go ahead and let's go ahead and start her up.
Man, I'm excited. Ready? Ready? Ready for this? One, two. This is it for today guys i was able to install the graves uh standard edition so basically this was super easy because i just had to remove the m4 and input the graves the pipes in a canister uh usually when you have to remove the servo and the cables that's going to be a pain in the butt which i already did that like a few months ago so i'm having my m4 shorty and sale if you're interested and also in the comment section below let me know if you like graves better or m4 as far as the look goes but the entire shorty of m4 it's heavier than the entire graves so which will give you a better performance and will help you in the long run and i'll be posting a new video um reviewing my graves and a sound check of it just make sure you tune to my channel subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so whenever i post a new content you'll be able to see it and you'll be notified this is it for today. Thank you guys and later.